for today's video, I would like to thank Walmart.com for sponsoring. Um, thank you very much to Walmart.com for sponsoring today's video. Um, from now on, with Fenty Beauty Align, the beauty channel, any speaking video will be deemed as a podcast meaning you will see it on national television. It has been requested to be seen on national television and I would like to thank walmart.com for giving me this opportunity to show my knowledge in the beauty community that I have learned since I've been studying, starting with my natural hair from about 2011. So, thank you very much to walmart.com for the sponsorship and I am truly and greatly appreciated. Okay, so we are here to do part two of brands that I do not support. If y'all remember, I did this in 2022 outside at Tim Hortons and I'm here to do it here at home. Um, so we are going to go and get right into part two. And if I have to stop, it's because I have to get my daughter off to school out the door. So if I have to stop filming, it's for that reason and that reason alone. So, we're doing today brands that I do not support. The first brand is Tom Ford. And I have a lot to say in regards to Tom Ford and Tom Ford's practices. First of all, Tom Ford is a brand that belongs to Miley Cyrus. I have never purchased from Tom Ford. Number one, the prices are way too high. $129 for a four quad palette. First of all, first of all, let me tell you what I know in regards to the quality of those Tom Ford palettes for $129. You're only paying for the name of those Tom Ford palettes. What Miley Cyrus does is she has taken Mariposa eyeshadow palettes from Dollarama. Mariposa, Dollarama, and Dollar Tree and she has inserted the eyeshadow from Mariposa palettes into the Tom Ford palette and she sells them for a hundred and twenty nine dollars. A lot of people, I have seen the videos, I have heard the complaints, I have used a Mariposa palette myself. I have used a Mariposa palette myself. And with a Mariposa palette, your eyes will burn and it will itch. So if you're using a Tom Ford palette, it is more than likely that you have a Mariposa eyeshadow insert in a Tom Ford palette and you wasted your 129 hard earned working dollars just for the name to be able to say Tom Ford alone. You've been duped. I've also heard that Tom Ford puts gasoline in their foundations. A lot of people have had burns on their skin lately using Tom Ford foundation. That would be the gasoline in the foundation. It is not olive oil. It's gasoline. Be careful what you purchase out there. Be very careful what you purchase. 
tub for it is not safe to be used by the public right now or ever because they will not stop the practices in order to fulfill orders in order to make money. So I do not support Tom Ford. The next brand is Misha Beauty. I freaked out when I saw a few YouTubers using Misha Beauty. I did. Misha Beauty does not allow for the use of military power or police when you need it. Misha Beauty is a very dangerous brand. A very, very dangerous brand. You can only get, first of all, first of all, Misha Beauty is banned in Canada. That's the first thing. Misha Beauty is absolutely banned in Canada and now so is Tom Ford. Misha Beauty is banned in Canada. So how is it that I am seeing people use Misha Beauty products in Canada when it has been banned? You cannot bring Misha Beauty through the borders, not even by plane or by ground. You cannot. So how did Misha Beauty make its way into Canadian territory? That's number one. Number two, as I said, they do not allow for either military or police to protect those in danger of innocent victims. Which started the immigration program. Misha Beauty is why immigration was allowed in the first place, due to its practices of illegal abuse to common citizens, which is why Canada has such an influx of variety of culture, thanks to Misha Beauty and the abuse that they cause people. So, as I was saying in regards to Misha Beauty, it is a very brutal brand. It does not allow for the protection of common citizens and a lot of common citizens as well as folks in the royal family have been injured for calling on military support because of Misha Beauty. And it all, the abuse, Literally, the physical abuse all started from the brand Misha Beauty just asking to use the cover to cap the products. That's it. And we have had issues with getting protection ever since then. Soap and Glory allows for the physical smuggling of children and sale of child prostitution for underage girls and boys to continue. That is so glory. Soap and Glory is a brand from out of South Africa and it migrated its way to the US. Why? illegal migration of humans by ship called parody soap and glory is a brand that does support parody so soap and glory supporting parody says to me that they support prostitution of young children, which means that Soap and Glory also supports the kidnapping of young children into prostitution, which means that the owner of Soap and Glory is involved in prostitution as well. 
ColourPop. I've ordered from ColourPop before without knowing this information because ColourPop was a new brand. It was really quickly allowing for sales in Canada and it's an online brand only. Online brand only. There's a reason for that, why most businesses are only online. Most businesses are only online because they use it in order to run. When a child has been abused, whether by them physically or by someone else because they have given out the instructions for the abuse to happen, every time there has been a sale through ColourPop, they use the online form in order to get on a plane or in a car and cross borders in order to get away from the abuse. To get away from the abuse, to get away from the complaints, to get away from the charges, and to get away from the fact that they did commit the act using makeup. And these are folks, like I have said before, in a flat still, they are not allowed to wear makeup because they are sinners. This is why they do it. Every single brand that I am mentioning are folks that are not allowed to wear makeup because they are sinners and sinners are not allowed to put any beauty items on their face. And I am a Christian. Hyundai, Hyundai. It is a smaller version of Tom Ford, as well as Ford Motors. Hyundai has been illegally listening to our brain feeds in order to know our thoughts, in order to try and change our thoughts, in order to make us weak, to say that we would do what they want us to do instead of allowing all the charges to stick. No. No. We don't do that, Hyundai. We don't. We don't do that. We don't do that. I have asked for the practice to stop. However, it is continuing. As of Friday, today is January 30th. Monday, January 30th, when, when I do film this, when I do film this, I don't know when it will be premiered. I don't know, but it is Monday, January 30th, the day of actual filming. Friday, a few days before the day of actual filming, I asked Hyundai to stop the practice of listening to my brain feed in order to get me or to manipulate my thoughts to have me say what they want me to say. They have been refusing to do so, which is what actually prompted this video. The fact that I asked them on Friday to stop and they still continued. They still continued. And now because of the fact that they continued, I was allowed to release a part two. The same thing happened in part one of brands I support and brands I do not support is when I have asked for a certain type of abuse to stop and it has not stopped. This is what brings out videos and podcasts like these. It's because my requests are not being respected 
and that means I now have the right to tell you all out there why I do not purchase from brands like these. I've heard your request to purchase from these brands in order to test out certain products. However, due to the continued cause and effect of the abuse by these brands, I cannot adhere to that request in order to share the products at all. So this is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. And you will see another upcoming one of part two of brands that I do support that does the exact opposite of what I speak of in this video. With, that, I'll be, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!